guys and welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you how to make a flying cat. So you control the cat with your arrow keys and it looks like it's going past a bunch of buildings. So first create a new project. Delete the cat, choose a sprite, and type in cat, and select cat flying. So right now we're going to set up the controls. When green flag clicked, drag four if statements. If key up arrow pressed, then switch costume to cat flying B and change Y by 10 and 8 or anything below 10. Then the descending again key pressed if key down arrow press then switch costume to cat flying uh, no, no, uh, uh. switch costume to cat flying B I mean A and change Y by negative 8 Then saying if key right arrow pressed then switch costume to cat flying A and motion change X by eight. Then, if left arrow pressed, then switch costume to cat flying A. Then, change X by 8. I mean, negative 8. That's pretty much the entire controls. Oh, wait, I forgot to add a forever in there. Boom. So that's the cat's controls. Then go to the backdrop and choose blue sky 2. Then go to sprite. Then choose build. And set them to a place where it looks like it's close to the grap and into the bottom of the screen part. And then make a duplicate them like four times, make five of them. Then line them up next to each other. Let's just set the costumes. The first one can stay the way it is. Second one. Okay, the second one's all the way over there. Oh, well, that doesn't really matter. Let's go to costumes. Choose building B. Go to buildings 3 and go to building C. Go to building 4. And switch it to building D. Then go to building 5. And building E. Okay, let me just unscramble that. Okay, so now we have all of the sprites ready. Now we just gotta make it look like they, the cat is flying past them.
Okay, so one flag clicked. Uh, that was for building four. Oh, go over to building. One green flag clicked. Rip. It really depends on what the coordinates are. 199, zero. I'll set this to negative 200. Repeat 10 times. 10 times. Change X by. What just happened? Oh, wait, yeah. Um. Okay. Change X by negative 10. I mean, negative 5. And then, forever, change X. I mean, wait, no. Set X to 250. And then, repeat 10 times. I, I gotta do the map. Okay, why am I even doing the map? It's super easy. Repeat 25 times. After no. 50 times change x by negative 5. So if I do this, okay. Well, that didn't work. It's a hundred times. Oh no, a hundred times. Is that gonna do anything? Oh, that's a glitch or a bug, actually. Oh yeah, I need to set the X to negative 200. Okay, now it's working well. Then pretty much you keep doing the same for all the other buildings. So I'll just do that. Click on it. Control C then, and then paste it there. Then, just pretty much input the correct information for the building. X is 169. Actually, no, I'll set it to 170. Seventy. Then repeat ten times. Now it's time for more back. Times third five times. 34, so repeat 34 times, change x by 5, then set, uh, set x to 250, and that works. And paste that. Then pretty much keep repeating this for every single building. Okay, set X to 80. That works.
Here, repeat. Repeat six sixteen times. And set X to two hundred fifty. Okay, that did not work. Yeah, no, that did not work at all. Okay, so we need another 250, so let's repeat 66 times. I feel like I'm going to make a complete doofus of myself. Okay, thank goodness I'm not. Set X to... Oh, okay. I thought the building were just overlapped. Okay. Control V. Don't need that. Set X to negative 90. That would be better. Now we gotta do more math. Seventy two. And I completely forgot about something. Okay, set X to two hundred fifty. Then I do not get why that building takes so long to do that. Okay, I'll just do 70 this time. Oh wait, I did my math wrong. Thirty-two. Yep. Now there's just one building left. Excuse me. X equals fifteen dollar. Three, then set X to two hundred fifty. Yep, and now this is our completed flying cat. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on those notifications.